Yo, what up there? How you doing guys? My name is Sanj and today we are back with another video. And as you can see from the title, today we're going to be taking a look at one of my favourite brands, Hyder Ackerman, and some of their most recent drop that they're doing in partnership with the wonderful people at Red Heat. This video is going to have some absolute bangers. We're going to have a bit of a discussion because I asked a few questions on my Instagram stories and I got a lot of feedback which was very interesting to see where people stood with regards to one of the issues that I'm going to be bringing up in just a second and then I kind of want to highlight and showcase this collection of garments that are going to go live within 24 hours of this video going live actually. I'm going to be hopefully be able to spread as much information and give you guys everything that you need to know prior to lighting the bullets on any of these pieces. And with that being said, let's just jump straight into it with what the concept and what the messaging and the theme of this video for slash this collection is. Now, as some of you guys may be aware, Heat is a mystery box company that you normally purchase a mystery box for a value, say anywhere between 399 to, sorry, that's a lie, anywhere between 299 to 499. They have streetwear boxes, they have contemporary boxes, and usually you're able to get something that is above the value of what you purchased. I've done it before in the past. They have sent me some boxes in the past. I've also put them to the test myself and purchased a box in the past and both times I was able to make my money back. Uh, sometimes I actually kept the pieces, but most of the time, if I didn't like a piece, I know that I'd be able to sell it off and make my dollar. In this instance, however, they're doing something slightly different where they're actually collaborating with Hyder Ackerman in order to bring out some of their most sought after pieces. Hyder Ackerman exclusively for heat mystery boxes are priced at 750 and are guaranteed to include a product with a minimum retail price of 1,200. Individual items from the collaboration are also available alongside the mystery boxes in limited quantities priced from 485 to 1,150. Each purchase is delivered in a bespoke designed chocolate velvet box unique to this collaboration. So that is actually a new thing that I don't think Heat have done before. Like I said, it was primarily mystery boxes, but now if they're able to pull in more collaboration with designers and able to do more reissues, this is perhaps a new format that they'll introduce to their shopping system, which I think it's quite cool. Which led to my sort of discussion question that I asked you guys on my Instagram story, and that was how do you feel about brands doing reissued garments? And to my surprise, a lot of you guys were actually down for it. I am not necessarily in the middle, mm, no, I'm somewhat in the middle about it. I obviously understand why a brand would like to do a reissued garment. It means that you know, they're able to provide it at a much better price point than what resale might be. They're able to tap into that market because obviously once an item is sold, say five years ago, and then resellers are now selling it for three times above retail price, the reseller is eating, but the designer isn't. So this is a good opportunity for the designers to be making some of that money back and clawing that back into their, into their, uh, into their pocket, which is quite cool. Number three, it kind of allows you to get your hand on a piece and not have to pay crazy prices. In fact, some of the pieces today, I was shocked with the prices that they're coming out with just because they're extremely fair. They're actually, if I recall properly on some of these items, because I have the OG versions, these are actually cheaper than the OG versions, which is so cool for um, Hyder and Heat to be able to provide that for you guys. And obviously the snobby side of things, which is what people were saying, and that was, you know, it brings down the value or it devalues an item. It makes it seem like a cash grab. I get it, but is it really that deep? Probably not. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you think reissued items and reissued garments are a good thing for fashion? One opinion that I thought was quite interesting, footwear like sneakers, Nike, Jordans, they're reissuing, re reissuing, reissuing old classics and retros all the time, yet nobody bats an eyelid. So why do we not have that system with clothing? Quite an interesting topic, I thought anyway. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below because I'd love to know. Okay, with that being said, item numero uno, we have the hoodie that you guys would have seen me wear in my previous video. A lot of you guys actually asked where this hoodie was from. And this is the Perth hoodie in a gray colorway. Now, let me see what the actual technical term 
the tag is, I think it's like anthracite? No, grey dye, perf coating, sorry, in the grey dye. Now this isn't one of their reissue items, this is just an item that they will be dropping in the collection. And this one goes for £485. Now in terms of sizing and fit with Perth hoodies, I tend to size down by one. You're still able to achieve the oversized intended cut. Going true to size, you know, it'll be very oversized. Getting a size down, it's still somewhat oversized, but it fits better, at least in my opinion. So I went down to a size small. It still fits amazing, as you see, quite oversized. It still has, as I said, the intended cut, but it's not super like way too wide or way too big. My true size is a size medium, despite the ballooning of the face and the neck. I know if you guys watch my videos regularly, I am repeating myself, but a lot of people don't obviously watch all the videos. I also did a mention, but they've got their own sort of custom tags that says Hydro Ackerman exclusively for heat as well. And they have the normal tag that you come across Hydrachman pieces. So this is item numero uno in a size of small, the first Perth hoodie in a gray colorway. Hoodie number two, again, it is very much the same, same material, super lightweight, but the color on this, boy, look at it. Incredible washed yellow. Once again, sizing, I went with a size small, size down by one. I mean, to be fair, that's just a general rule of thumb with Hyder Ackerman. When it comes to their sweatshirts, hoodies, maybe even outerwears at times, especially the super oversized one, I just tend to size down by one and I am good to go. So this is hoodie number two, the Perth hoodie in the yellow. So good, man. So, so good. I love this. I'm glad to be able to add this to the collection. And I'm loving this whole sat down talk because I feel like it's a bit more chilled than when I'm stood up and I'm full of high energy. I mean, don't get me wrong, every now and again, having a high energy video is good, but sit down, have a nice little chilled out conversation, you know, can't complain. This is great, mate. This is fucking great. Hyder Ackerman hoodie number three, we have the Black Perth hoodie, this time with the golden embroidered detailing that can be found on the back and on the hood. This one features some raw edges, especially on the shoulder seams, and as you can see, and as I've just mentioned now, you've got this gold embroidered detailing that can be found on the back of the hood and on the left shoulder. This piece retails at a slightly higher price point. This one comes in at £685. And also something interesting worth noting, this one doesn't have kangaroo pockets, but rather it's got two pockets at either side, which aren't connected, which is actually quite cool. Neat little design feature. I'm not sure if that's how it was in the original piece, but I like it, I think it's I think it's quite cool and quite original. The fit on this, although I went down to a size that's small, it's a tiny bit bigger than the two previous ones. It fits a lot more relaxed, which is quite nice as well. This is definitely one item that I could have potentially even sized down by two and still managed to get the intended fit, but like I said, and I'm gonna keep repeating. In fact, no, I'm not gonna keep repeating. I'm not going to keep repeating myself. Everything sized down by one. If I stay true to size, I'll be sure to let you know. This is actually one that I'm keeping for my girl because she looks even more incredible than I do in this and it fits her really, really good. So yes, gifts, Christmas is coming. Treat your loved ones. So that is that for hoodies. Then we're gonna move on to quite possibly the hot, hot pieces from this collaboration. And one that I'm genuinely surprised at the price points as well. We've got the Autumn Winter 14, so this is old, old sweatshirts that not necessarily put Hyder on the map, but the likes of Kanye West, Miguel, ASAP Rock, actually did Miguel and ASAP Rocky wear this particular piece? I mean, the one person that I know for sure wore them was Hydro, um, was Hydro Ackman, was Mr. Kanye West himself. In fact, because they're the same, let me just show them both together. And then you can see them on the young body anyway. Bro, this jumper, insane. And the fact that they're selling it for 625 pounds is what makes it even more insane. This on resale market goes anywhere between 1.5 to 2K. Granted, those are OGs. Is this gonna affect the price? Potentially. 
at the same time, those that want the OGs, the fashion snobs of the world, which by the way, there's nothing wrong with that. I can sometimes be a fashion snob. Like I've definitely found myself gravitating towards an older piece rather than a newer one on reissued items. Sometimes just because I know that the value is still going to be retainable, you know? So that's why I'm not that bothered about reissued pieces because yes, it gives an opportunity for new fans or new customers to be able to acquire these pieces. But for the most part, the price of the originals won't drop that much, at least in my opinion. Unless you're trying to be cheeky and you're trying to sell off a newer piece as an older piece and then you're scamming people, which we're not about. So don't do that because that's a dick move. But anyway, I'm getting off topic here. We have the reissued version of the Autumn Winter 14 double layered sweatshirts these are super heavy pretty much two sweatshirts uh, stitched together and the colors on them are absolutely incredible so we have the sort of washed olive version a washed gray version they did a pretty bang up job on how the ogs looked you have the double collar detailing the piece of fabric in the back has slight distressing and then the front is a bit more unified and a bit more you know clean you have the cross grain trim that runs down the side all the way to the end of the sleeves they even managed to replicate the distressing that can be found on the bottom hem and then you have the thick boy waistband cuff that can be found at the bottom as well Breath. the colors on this the price point you really really cannot go wrong sizing once again i went down to a size that's small because these fit super oversized and even then the cut of this garment is quite long as it is so it actually looks very big and very oversized now to keep it 100 percent the collar is very tight at least in my opinion so what i'm going to be doing is stretching them out ever so slightly just by tugging them just a little bit so that they there's a bit more breathing room. Now this might be due to the ballooning of the neck effect, so perhaps I won't do it straight away, but I know that the OGs, you know, especially when I'm comparing pictures of Kanye wearing them, granted he probably wore them a few times in order to get that effect, but there was a tiny bit more room, it looked a bit more breathable, and same goes for the bottom waistband. Now these are brand new garments, so obviously, things are gonna be a bit tighter than they are and with wear, it might soften. But if you wanna speed through the process, just give it a little tug. That's what she said. Probably give it one or two washers and you will be good to go. So those are the reissued Autumn Winter 14 double layered sweatshirts in the washed olive and in the washed gray. And boy, are they a thing of beauty. Ones that I am super, super glad to add to the collection. I'm gonna give it a fat throw. And then last but certainly not the least, before we go to the outerwear section, we have the Autumn Winter 14 reissued versions of the sweatpants, the Moon Perth jogger sweatpants. If you look on the resale market, these go anywhere between 1k to 1.5k depending on the condition da, 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 da. you can find it for slightly cheaper obviously but if they're in very good condition and they've kept and held their shapes then this is one of the items that is extremely sought after once again because mr kanye west wore it made it extremely popular they've kept the elasticated waistband but they've added some drawstrings on the inside so that the outside still has the original look to it beautiful faded gray color Everything is pretty much spot on. As I said, I have the OG version, so I can kind of confirm that from view. The only difference is the cross grain is not distressed on this particular pair. On the OGs, you'll find some distressing that can be found at the bottom. On this pair, there is no distressing. And sizing wise, I stay true to size with them with a size small and they fit exactly right stay true to size and you're good so if you're a size 30 32 go with a small if you're a size 28 30 go with an extra small if you're a size 32 34 go with a medium and, and you know follow that pattern and you will be good to go so these sweatpants absolutely beautiful price points these are going for 740 pounds so a bit more on the pricier side but like i said these are definitely a bit more on the sought after side of things especially compared to some of the other pieces. I've actually displayed them with the Greedy PL2 boots, if anybody's curious about that. And I just tuck in the fat, fat, tight cuff uh, inside the boot. Okay, now we have outerwear pieces and boy, are they a thing of beauty. Now these are all from Autumn Winter 15, I believe. We have two 
Reversible Perth Bombers, one which is one of the OG colorways in black, one which is their own colorway called Vision, and they did a smashing job because, in fact, let me just show it to you, because this is my favorite piece of the entire collection. This is the black Perth Bomber. This is the Vision colored Perth Bomber. Both are reversible. They've got this jersey sweatshirting on one side and then they've got this blend of a Cupro and... What material was it? I just read it two seconds ago. It was Rayon and Cupro. Brett, so, so good. I love, love this piece. The cut is insane. Once again, sizing, we went down to a size as small because it fits amazing and it has the intended cut. Now these are retailing for £1,110. So that is £1,110, which is cheaper than what retail was, which is also cheaper than what they're currently going for on the resale market, to be expected. That's kind of the point of this whole reissued collection for such collaboration between Heat and Hyder Ackerman. So good, so many details, where do I begin? So on the jersey side, you have two pockets at either side which have zips and you've got this tab. The jersey side is definitely the, the, um, the easiest side to wear just because it's subtle, it's not in your face, and it looks great, you know? Then you've got the shinier side on the inside, which is a bit more of an out there, you know, material. Unfortunately, on the shinier side, you do not have side pockets, which can be sort of annoying. Obviously, it depends on your personal preference, but I would have loved to have seen some side pockets because you know, everybody uses side pockets and I actually see myself wearing it on the shinier side a lot more just because it looks absolutely incredible. You do, however, have pockets. They're just not where your side pockets would be. They are just above your chest level. You've got this gathered sleeve detailing that is a lot more apparent on the jersey side, but it's also seen on the silkier side. Beautiful, fat, thick cuff and just a beautiful piece, man. I absolutely love this. Sizing wise, I went down to a size small and then the second colorway, by far my favorite piece out of this whole collaboration, we have the Vision color, which isn't actually an OG. It's not a reproduction besides the cut, obviously. This was an original between Heat and Hyder Ackerman. And I must say they did an incredible job because the color on this, is beautiful, especially the reverse sort of silk side. Bruh, it's silver. Like, like, look at it. It's so beautiful. Well, what more can I say, mate? You did a smashing job, Heat. But that's that. These two pieces are my favorites out of the bunch. The vision, especially because the color is absolutely incredible. And the last, but certainly not the least, the main show-stopping piece, the one that everybody's gonna to gravitate towards, the one that's gonna be probably selling out the fastest just because of, of, of what it is and what it stands for for Hyder Ackerman fanatics. It is the Hyder Ackerman Velvet Bomber Jacket, which they've labeled as the Velvet Underground Bomber in the burgundy colorway. Now, immediately, before I even wanna talk about the piece, 1,150 quid. That is cheaper by 500 pounds from the original retail price five years ago, I believe, because the OG was 1.6K if I remember properly. That is insane. I went with a size medium and I'll tell you why. I actually shipped my jacket, which I didn't even bring on this trip to Berlin in the first place, the OG one, from autumn winter 15 so that I could actually give you guys the best comparison because I know that with any sort of reissues you're gonna get some people that are super super nitpicky and I went extremely anal about the main differences I've in fact compiled a list and I'm gonna be able to read them out to you I'm also gonna be showing you guys a visual side by side so you can kind of see the differences and there really isn't much here I must say they did a pretty bang up job it's pretty much the exact same piece, especially from the outside. On the inside, there are some slight differences, but from the outside, it's the same. The material is the same, the cut is the same, except for one, one, one tiny little detail, which I'll be able to share more information. And 
you know, it just looks amazing, it feels amazing, it's such an amazing piece. So, main differences, measurements, I'm just gonna put them on the screen right now, so then you guys can get a feel for what the main differences are. The only thing that is noticeable and it's noticeable visually and also in the measurements is the back panel. Now the back panel on the OG is 42 centimeters and the back panel on the reissue bomber jacket is 45 centimeters. Now in terms of manufacturing and clothing, those three centimeters, although it sounds like just three centimeters, that's enough of a jump in sizing. So that can take a garment, depending on where the sizing differences lies, that can take a garment from being a size medium to a size large. The reason on the reissued version, you'll see a bit more of a lump or a bit more of a curvature on the back, especially is because that back panel is wider by three centimeters, which sounds tiny, but when the rest of the jacket fits exactly the same, those three centimeters then becomes even more amplified. So it's like the front of the jacket being a size medium and then the back of the jacket for the reissued having the attributes of like a size large. I hope that makes sense because that is the only way that I can break it down. In terms of visual differences, the reissue has redder cuffs. Now that could be due to the age. Obviously mine is five years old. Granted, I haven't worn it every day for it to be like a noticeable difference, but the reissue definitely has a bit more of a potent force forward slash saturated cuff. The reissue's cuffs are also thicker, both in terms of actual measurements, but also in terms of the thickness of the cuff themselves, they are thicker. So that is something you might wanna bear in mind because that shit gonna keep you warm, 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 warm. The top zips close at the opposite end. So the OG goes from right to left. This is how anal I was, by the way. I looked in, into the direction of the zips. The OG goes from right to left, the reissue goes from left to right. The OG has a thicker placket band, which is the middle placket, by one centimeter. The OG has a back of the neck hang tag, the reissue does not. That's a detailing that can be found on the inside of the garment. The OG has the size tag on the right inside pocket. The reissue has the size tag on the left inside pocket. The OG has black care labels. The reissue has white care labels. And the OG is made in Italy. The reissue is made in Portugal. And those were the only differences that I could spot. And that was me being super, super, super anal about it. The zips are the same, the material is exactly the same, or at least it feels it for sure. The cut is pretty much exactly the same as I've shown you guys with the measurements provided. But as mentioned, the three centimeter differences comes into play and that's what kind of has that ballooning effect on the reissue that is such a minor detail. But you know, like I said, I wanted to be as anal as possible because I know that when it comes to reissues, people want these sort of information. And I'm hoping that by me providing that for you, you guys get a better feel for it. And you know, I just wanna be as honest as possible here. So that is going to conclude this video. Boy, I feel like I've been talking for such a long time. Heat, Hydro Ackerman, 2nd of December is when it goes live. Links to everything will be in the description box down below if you wish to cop anything. By far my favorite piece is this bad boy right here. So, so good. I am absolutely hyped to add this to the collection. And I think if there was one piece that I'd recommend, it's definitely this one. So, so good, man. Absolutely love it. That is it from me. If you wish to follow me on my social media, you saw right here in this corner, S-A-N-G-I-E-V. That's that from me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, share, subscribe, do all that other jazz because it helps us out tremendously. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Peace.